Okay, Russ. Um, hang on a second. Okay, Russell H. in Iowa. This is your 148F LTD Custom by Lescom. Okay. There's your RFX 150 sitting out back back there. Now let me flip it over. There's the inside of the radio. There's the TRBX3. There's your uh, 3300 microfarad cap uh, replacing the input buffer and also a 4700 microfarad input buffer on the power leads along with a 10 out protection diode. Okay. Uh, there's your LC6404. And of course, this radio uses uh, bipolar final transistors. And there's one thing that I wanted to show you on the uh, echo control. Because we're having to use the frequency counter board, I had to mount these two controls where the PC board was closest to the covers on both of them. I don't know if you can see that or not in there. But uh, if I turned them over, uh, they wouldn't go in the holes because of the uh, frequency counter board that's so close. Okay. So what you're going to see on your RF gain and RF power control is that with the markings facing at about the 10 o'clock position is all the way up and then you to turn it down the controls are going to be at about the uh, 2 o'clock position that's all the way down I, I hate that but that's the only way I can do it uh, pretty much the same thing on the uh, echo control right now I've got the echo turned off but as you can see with it off there's the marks up here at the uh, at the top. Now I wanted to stick with the new Cobra knobs so they would all match. Uh, I went to Cobra and ordered a whole bunch of these uh, dual knobs and the single knobs and a few extra channel knobs so that I could keep the knobs matching. Okay, your meter has the white LED in it. The transmit receive LED. Uh, switches from blue to red in transmit. Okay, there's your three digit display. And I did something different on this one than what I've been doing. The power lead coming out of the RFX 150 now runs the 150 and it also comes out and goes to the radio power on the back of this jack here. So that's something to remember, as long as uh, this power cable is hooked up, the pins on this jack are hot, okay? In fact, I may like make up a blank one with no wires coming out of it and stick in there. But I didn't want to fill it up because uh, it is useful. Like if you want to run a scanner or something off the same power, you can hook a scanner into it. Uh, it's just something that draws very low current. You don't want anything that draws a bunch of current because that takes away from your radio. Um, and there's the inside. I've got everything all tied up nice and neat. And I'm getting ready to put the covers on it. And I'll show you the output power as soon as I do that. Okay. I'll be back. Russell H, Iowa. Here's your Lescom 148 LTD Custom. Okay. A few things I need to show you. We are connected to an external antenna right now. And my 
video. Ranger was on a different channel. There's 385. Let's see what I got on it. Do a comparison here. I'm mostly hearing static on it. Switch back to this one. Get lots of audio. These 148s are just just have a fantastic receive. Okay, but anyway, a couple things I need to show you. All right, squelt scan, you pretty much already know how that works. The favorite channel, get and save. Right now I've got channel 38 saved in there. The new thing over here where it says band, if you push this bottom switch in, you see how that changed, how that three digit changed there? You push that in and now your channel selector changes the band. Okay. Take that out and we're back to changing channels again. All right. And now let's say you want to go back to your favorite channel. You just punch the get button. See that top button there is labeled get. Hit that button. We're right back on channel 38. Okay, the new option is the amp switch. Okay, with this out, with this button out, so it matches all the others, with this button out, your amplifier is on. Okay, the RF 150 is on with this button out. Push this button in, it gives you a visual indication and it turns the amp off. Okay, with this pushed in, amplifier does not work. Let me switch to the dummy load. Okay, switch to AM. Amplifier is off. Okay, take that button out. Key the microphone. Amplifier is on. Now I got the microphone laying down here on the table and covered it up with my hand, and you can still see that it's picking up the modulation, my voice. Let's see, slightly off right there. But all three modes are tuned together. That's lower sideband. AM. And I bumped the clarifier just as I turned that knob. Lower sideband. AM. Try not to bump the clarifier. And upper sideband. And I bumped the clarifier again. I got my fingers are too big. Here, do it that way. Okay, so I'm on the lower side of channel 38, and let's see what the output power is. Okay, the meter on the left is a 100 watt uh, RMS. We're reading from the 100 watt scale, which is this scale right here. Okay, it has a 100 watt slug in it, and it's the RMS meter. This meter over here has a 50 watt slug okay and I'm on the times 5 position so we are reading from the 250 watt scale which is on the top that's 100 that's 125 right there that line and 150 okay hello audio 1 2 3 4 5 5 4 3 2 1 and I'm gonna blow my other radio up Hello, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, audio test. Okay, that's on sideband. 
And I'm going to go to AM. Hello, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Audio test, test, audio. Right at 150 watts. Let me go back to sideband. I think I let the camera down a little bit. Hello, audio one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. And yeah, that was the lights on the bench dimming when I did that. Hello, audio, audio, hello. That's with the stock microphone. Mic gain is turned all the way up. And I don't know if you can hear the audio. I don't think you can. Uh, even if you can, it's probably going to sound bad with this camera microphone audio 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 one two three four five five four three two one now let me show you am audio hello one two three four five five four three two one listen to that audio test test one two one two audio that's beautiful audio. Okay, let me demo the Echo. And you got to remember the markers on this, uh, on these controls, this one and this one. With it set like that, that's all the way up. And I showed you why uh, in the first part of the video. I have to mount the PC board, the, the controls upside down because of the PC board would hit the counter board. So I'll keep looking for controls to fix that, but so far I haven't found any. Hello. 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 One, two, three. 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 Audio test. Audio test. Audio test. Audio test. Now, um, and then if you turn the delay all the way down and do this, you get this. This is, this is the TRBX3. The TRBX3, look how it drives this amplifier. Now, one thing I need to tell you, that, that that guy gets warm if you keep the radio keyed down a lot and talk on it. There's really just not enough heat sink for the amount of power that uh, that amp puts out. Okay? Make sure you got a good, strong power supply. I recommend a, a 30 amp supply. This one is 36. But uh, there you go. And you don't have to fool with a switch on the back anymore for the uh, for the amplifier. Everything is out of the way. There's no power cord there. Both the radio and the amp is powered through this cord. And there's you a new cord for it. This is actually a Motorola power cable for the Motorola radio. Okay. Good heavy duty cord. It looks like it is anyway, nice and thick. Get a brand new Cobra microphone. Okay. And the mic connector is a four pin. It is a four pin microphone connector. Okay. Four pin. So you can use any standard four pin microphone. Uh, like I said, this is a, a brand new Cobra mic. And let's see, what else do I need to tell you? Uh, remember that this control or this uh, power jack back here in the back, it is live as long as you got power applied. In other words, there's positive and negative voltage, or positive or negative. It's positive voltage on the positive pin. Whatever's coming in here you'll feel on the positive pin back here all right but that simplifies things that way you can just hook your power cable up to one point and away she goes but the only bad thing about that is if the amplifier goes out uh, well you can still use the radio if you plug directly into here but whatever you plug into here is also going to feed the amplifier so if your amplifier's got a couple of shorted finals in it, you're going to have to get it fixed before you can use the radio. I got so many people requesting that, I just went ahead and incorporated it. 
I really would rather have a split cable uh, with the power separated between the two but oh well okay uh, Russell let me demo the scan for you real quick when the squelch opens it stops and does that okay okay there's scan down okay and uh, let me stop it and then we'll do scan up and when the squelch opens up with a signal it does that I think I might have told you that before the battery died but there it is again okay now I'm gonna turn this off and that's where we stopped at and I want to get back to my favorite channel so I'm just gonna hit the get button okay uh, remember with this button pushed in it changes the channel selector changes the band okay you'll see that digit right there change with it out it's uh, the negative C and U with it in it indicates band and channel okay all right uh, Russ, I sure hope you enjoy the radio. It was my pleasure to build it for you. 73s.